I'm Chris Amire alongside Evan Budrovich uh, coming to you from Clinton, South Carolina. Campbell Falls to FCS scholarship foe Presbyterian 28 to 16 on Saturday night. But a lot of good takeaways from this game, including a Campbell defense that limited PC to under 100 yards in the second half. In fact, Presbyterian switched to the triple option offense in the second half to really try to spark their attack a little bit. Campbell did a nice job in the run game early with an opening drive stop. The defense really showed what they could do throughout the year. Unfortunately, big plays is what ultimately cost them. On the offensive side, Anthony Robbins, the quarterback, started this game from Campbell. Daniel Smith came in, and he really came into his own in the second half. He ends up for throwing nearly 200 yards, and he ran for over 100. Well, we saw his mobility, especially making plays outside the pocket, getting guys involved. Those two touchdown drives in the fourth quarter looked very good from Daniel and certainly Campbell now. Two quarterbacks that can make some big plays for them offensively. Well, the offensive line giving up just one sack tonight and really paving the way for a running attack. We saw Josh Jones and Montel Goods has his first a couple of carries for Campbell in his career. One of them ended up in a touchdown. He's a big body, folks, and he went right up the middle of the Presbyterian defense, breaking probably two, three tackles to score the touchdown. That's the physical style of running that Coach Marsh wants to see. And that offensive line stepped up a bit with some injuries and looked very good running the ball in the second half. Uh, Campbell was hurt at a lot of positions coming into this one, including a wide receiver. Brian Bailey stepping up a couple of big catches. He had a touchdown and over 100 yards. We mentioned the first quarter. He goes deep for 60 plus yards on a third down conversion, getting the, the Sharks going of the offense, but really showing the deep playability without Aaron Blockman in the game that Campbell was looking for. Campbell 1-2 and two with a couple of close losses in the non-con, but it all starts up next week. Campbell goes on the road to Stetson in DeLand, Florida, where they'll start Pioneer Football League play. For Evan, I'm Chris saying so long from Clinton.